next dogfight. Sony versus Nintendo in The Handheld Wars. Sony's long-awaited introduction of a gaming handheld left many of us drooling for more. Because there wasn't much. Look at them. They're drooling. Well, this is it. The PSP or the... This is, this is what the final model is going to look like, although there are no games playable here on the show floor. But it is good to get a look at the final product. The screen is huge. It has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and it takes up the entire model. And I have to say, the resolution is gorgeous. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's got this nice, uh, smooth, attractive, it's really nice to touch. And you would like it if Why you could read through the screen. Me that? Well, they can't it's feel it. It's, I, I'm doing it. To, I'm a helper for them. You're not helping. It's just so sexy and smooth. Top of no games to play here. There are no games that have been officially announced for the PSP. Stop. Yeah, doing yeah. If you didn't see that. anything right there. If you, if you saw anything, gouge your eyes out. Or like Oedipus. Memory. It doesn't just play games. The PSP also plays media. They've been showing up a lot of music videos, mainly of those crappy yell bands you kids like. And of course, it wouldn't be a Sony product unless it had a proprietary format. You have to use these UMD or Universal Media Discs. I don't know how they can call them universal if they only work on Sony products, though. Well, it's the universe of Sony. Right. Sony believes the PSP will be the Walkman of the 21st century. Other specs include 802.11 standard LAN, infrared, and a USB port. Release date? Right now we've been told March 2005. And with about 89 publishers already on board to develop games, we can't wait. Wait, you're still not supposed to see that. You can't talk about handhelds without mentioning Nintendo. And the Game Boy Advance is the best-selling system of this generation, period. Trust me, Nintendo has no intention of taking its foot off the neck of the market. Take a look. Even though competitors are breathing down their backs, Nintendo hasn't flinched. They dominate the handheld game market, and they know it. So they kicked out one hell of a one-two punch of their own. So now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the Nintendo DS. And we're inside Nintendo's secret DS lair. It is a lair, and we are completely pumped with all the ideas behind this system. Check this out. DS stands for dual screen. Both are three inches, and the bottom one is a touch screen that works with a stylus. I had a lot of fun with that feature. It's also Wi-Fi capable, which will come in quite handy if you're playing Animal Crossing. Think about how many more people can be playing the game at the same time. And of course, the DS will be able to play all the old GBA games. Yay! If Nintendo really does ship the DS to stores this fall, it'll be a good Christmas gift from Adam to Morgan. Hint, hint. Then you have to get me the PSP. It doesn't come out this year, dude. Yeah, I didn't want it anyway. Who will take the lion's share of the handheld market? We'll have to wait and see.